what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today you join me for another car reveal also you join me in the unit you've probably not been here for a little while some of you that are new to the channel or subscribe to man like ricky i've had this unit for a couple of years it's where i actually keep my cars that's my m3 race car that's a jeff steel build I've got a four-wheel drive focus st probably needs to do a giveaway darren if you're watching bro m140 that i'll be giving away tomorrow for 99p and obviously my hellcat that's 20 pound entries quickly show you what we've got out here as well lads we've got man like joe's golf R. we've got a pink mg old school mercedes and then we've got my m140 looking sorry for itself with a flat tire not sure if it's cracked an alloy don't think that i've punctured it so yeah this car here is a rival to the m140 Boom! Mark 7 Golf R business. There we have it. Look at that. Look at the lighting on it. You seen the color on this? It looks like a chrome. It's got this nice black in it. So it's called Reflex Silver. I was not planning to buy a Mark 7 Golf R. You know how hard it is to find new lot cars? I'm like, I just thought, let me look through the Mark 7 Golf R's. I see this one and I just said, I've got to get it. Because I'm a first impressions guy, you know? And for me, that is a really nice looking car. I mean, if I was buying a Golf R for myself, I'd probably go over 7.5. You know, I'll probably be leaning more towards the 25-30k mark, but for the lower end of Golf R's, the Mark 7's, you know, this is this is what I'd want my car to look, man. I think it looks sweet. So for anyone that's underwear, it's got a two-liter turbocharged engine, a Holdex all-wheel drive system. You can see we've got the 18-inch Caddies. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. These are wheels that I've never even been a fan of, but on this car, I think it just works. Finished in gloss black. Calipers are finished in red. We've got gloss black mirror caps. These are heated as well from factory. It's also got a body kit, like the side skirts. It's got the front splitter. It's almost like a shadow edition Golf R, isn't it? We also have the adaptive cruise control. So you can see the little radar box there. It could do with a little clean. I did clean it yesterday and then it's just dirty because obviously man's getting the content and that. Brand spanking new tires, front and rear. Brand new discs, brand new pads. Interior wise, we've got the flat bottom steering wheel. DSG gearbox, you obviously get these in manual, like Joe's out there, leather armrest, really good condition, about 53,000 miles on the clock, full service history, it's had a very important whole deck service, is it just me or is it not looking the 1010, I'm not even a guy that usually likes the 18s, it has to be the 19s, when I had my Golf R, I spec to the 19s and when I see these wheels I'm not usually a fan, I mean like, Sorry, Joe, if you're watching, buddy. You know, on that, it needs the 19s, right? The Petroras, Petroras, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you need those on this car, right? But on here, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it just looks a lot sportier. It's not lowered or anything, this car. So yeah, this car is also running a stage two tune, 400 brake horsepower. It does also have a Miltec downpipe. It also has some other parts, which I'll try to remember, like a, a forged turbo elbow. It's actually got a dyno printout for 400 brake, but I'm loving this car. So I'm gonna be dailing this for the next couple of days. Look at that, bro, are you dumb? Have I got poo in my eyes and I can't see properly? Can someone just reassure me? So yeah, that's the goal for. We're now gonna go for a POV drive and see what she's like. Right, so Mark 7 Golf 4. I think I'll just leave it in auto. You can still, I suppose, manually use the paddles. It sounds pretty cool, man. It's got this like real bassy, I don't know if you look at catching it from the cabin. Uh, what have we got it? Have we got it in race mode? So yeah, obviously like a lot of the M cars. Remember it all started off with the BMs. The BMs, they offer so many different driving modes where you can change the weight. You know, the sensitivity of the throttle. So even this car, look, you've got individual mode, race, normal, and eco. And uh, we're flattening the throttle. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's really fast, man, but at the same time, so planted. Like, you get such a heavy feel on the road, as in, the car feels like it's got so much weight pulling it down to the ground. Let's go window down. Whoa. Yeah, man. She flies as well two litre turbocharged engine. They inspire so much confidence. Like, bro. <laughs> I 
not going to sound like I hate you right now, but obviously some of you will know that I do own. Look at this. You can't do this. You can't do that in. You can't do that in the M140. Bro, I'm on the throttle before I've even turned the corner. It's a joke. Look. Like. Oh shit, traction. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's really fast, man. Really, really fast. Only stays too tuned, but it's all you could ever need. Don't even know if I've mentioned this car. You can win it for 99p. Jeez, I was meant to mention that at the beginning of the video. So yeah, every Sunday we're doing a live draw. This car will be Sunday, 10:30. 99p is all it costs to enter. And uh, as I've said many, many times, I only choose cars that I'd buy myself. You know, no disrespect to Volkswagen, they produce high quality cars, you know, well built cars, reliable, but never were they good handling cars. This Mark 7, bro, the handling is just next level. But these cars very well balanced, so when you do throw them into corners, they're, they're, they're very controllable. But a cool car, man, gets a lot of attention. And this one here, the way this one's specced, bad boy selector is what I'm saying. No BM could ever get out of corners like this. Turbo's like, you know, there's a little bit of, not here, yeah, I mean, would you call it lag? It just takes a little, little second, like, like half a second to wake up and sort of kick in. Whereas the M140, it's like you tap the throttle, it's just instant, instant talk. Like now, nah, look, it's just a little second to, to wake up almost. Very bassy though, isn't it? Like I did a reaction video uh, recently and I said it was a Golf 5 and everyone was like, what are you on about Ricky? It's a Subaru, like, I mean, if you listen to this Golf 5 now, it's really bassy. It's got that rumble, uh, similar to a Subaru. Let's go flat. <laughs> Boy, do not have the theater of the M140, but if you want to go tear man up dynamically, like this is definitely more capable than the M140. Uh, there's no body roll. It just feels like a, a proper performance hot hatch, you know? Uh, whereas the M140, we already know that. Flat foot. Yeah, we already know that the M140 has basically got like 118D, 120D suspension. It's literally a base model one series with a big fat engine. That's all it is. Whereas this Golf R, it's gonna have, you know, Golf R specific suspension. It's got a, an engine designed specifically for this car. That's why you can't really compare the two. You, you got to, I suppose, because of the price, but dynamically as i say from a handling perspective the golf R is different it feels more special okay aside from the engine the engine on the m140 is definitely another level but boy if you didn't have the engine what would the m140 even be but this is like um you just this is not a car that you go and enjoy yourself in like for for theater this is you got to carve into you got to go carve into corners and just show how much of a good drive you are almost the uh, M140 may be just a tiny bit quicker though. Getting a little bit dark now. Oh, nice. Nice little drive, man. First little drive in the Mark 7 Golf I've had in a while. And I've always rated these cars, man. That's why I'm giving you the chance to win one. As I say, ticket link obviously in the description 99p someone's going to be walking away or should i say driving away with this very car you know 10 30 i'll be going live on the lf games facebook have a listen with the windows down man it's probably deep and bassy oh shit so many things we didn't touch on like just how capable these cars are tuning wise i mean you can double the horsepower in these things 400 brake stays tuned that's just for fun r far with the 600 brake go far you know what i mean you can literally double the power without building the engine no forged pistons or rods nothing right so guys i'm going to end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new remember the live draw for the mr40i will be this weekend so sunday 10 30 i'll be going live on the lf games facebook and the following week 
this car will also be going live so basically every sunday i'm doing the live draw as of now so till next time